So now I just want to quickly end the lesson, uh, this course, showing you how to bring it into After Effects to render out a movie file, because what we are rendering out of Maya is an image sequence. And so to play that back, you'll have to have some type of application. And if you want to share it, you really need a dot movie or, or some kind of movie file. So to do that, we need to open up After Effects and we need to import the image files. So let's go over to project and I already started one there. Let me just delete those so we can see it actually happen. So I wanna to go to uh, right click in here and go to uh, import file. And then we just need to route to whatever folder that we have the images located in. And currently it's still rendering. This is gonna take, I think my render is gonna take maybe 30, 35 hours to finish. So just be prepared for that. <laughs> Depending on the machine you have, that could take quite a while um, and the settings that you have. But so we clicked one image, but it'll bring in the entire sequence. So we can see 36 to 66. So, um, you know, I recommend waiting until you have all the images in that you need, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you this, uh, just so I can get this course published and not have to wait till the, uh, you know, two days from now. So now that we have this image, we can kind of scrub the timeline and see it play back and uh, as we would expect it to. And what we really want to do is just export it out of here and, the other thing to consider is just the, the frame rate. We can see it's 24 frames per second. If it doesn't come in as 24 frames a second, you can go to interpret footage main and then change that frame rate to 24. That's how we animated it in Maya. So it should be reading it as 24 here as well. And that's how you should be exporting it. So we, let's go to composition and add to render queue. And now we can have set the settings as we see fit. And what I recommend on a Mac, I like the ProRes uh, 422LT as a codec. You can choo choose whichever codec you like. H.264 is a common one as well. And hit OK. And then we, I, I like the QuickTime format. So I choose that. And so this has no audio, but it'll export it anyway. You could say audio output off. Click OK. And then name the file and just say wherever you want to save it. Hit Save. And then click this Render button over here. I guess I need to actually have a name for it. I'll just say save. Now you can get the render button and click this and it'll start rendering your image sequence as a movie file for you to share, upload to YouTube, use. Uh, it's a little easier to use in Premiere or editing software. So I just really want to thank you for joining me on this course. I hope uh, you enjoyed it as well. Definitely give me some feedback. Let me know if you liked it or not and uh, what I can do to improve. Do my best to try to do things that I don't see shown online. And this is a pretty comprehensive topic that I haven't seen it really shown on a project basis anywhere else online, which is kind of mind boggling. So I wanted to do it myself with the Digital Creator School logo and I encourage you to make your own and show me what you make. I want to see what you make off of this course and uh, all the different kind of creations you can make. So I just want to say thanks for joining me in this course. It's been uh, quite a whirlwind of information. I encourage you to rewatch it if anything was too confusing. Um, it should all be there, but you just might need to watch it not on two times speed and just watch it on one time speed a, a few times to catch everything that's happening. It's a fine balance between having a course that's 20 million hours long, which no one is ever going to watch, and having one that's too fast. Uh, so hopefully I hit the sweet spot there and uh, you were able to follow along and make something really cool. I want to see what you make. Please share it and share it around, especially now that you know how to export it as a movie file and upload it to YouTube, Vimeo, wherever you want to. And I will see you in the next course. Keep creating. Thanks for watching.